Welcome to Inside the Courtroom. I'm Hallie Murrow. Joining me again is Greg McCollum, Managing Partner of the Complete Legal Defense Team. Greg, so good to see you. It's good to see you, Hallie. Always good to see you. So we've talked a lot about self-defense of your home, stand your ground laws. Do you recommend someone getting a gun permit? I would say yes. Um, the thing is, if you're going to have a gun and you, or, and you have it in your car or your house, you might as well get a permit to carry it, whether you carry it or not. And the good thing about getting the permit is you have to take a course, and when you take the course, you learn about gun safety, and you also learn about gun laws and that sort of thing. And so I think that's a, that's a if you're going to have a gun, I think it's smart to have a, a gun permit. And we're talking about handguns here. So Greg, let's just say I get a permit to carry a gun. Someone tries to rob me at the mall. If I shoot him, am I going to get arrested? You know, even though it's, it's lawful to defend yourself in our society, and I don't, I'm, I'm saying this kind of facetiously, but I mean it seriously. When you shoot somebody, people get upset, okay? Uh, and they get, People get really upset that somebody got shot, and somebody got shot in public. And so it's, it's not as if everybody is sitting there going, well, let's open the law book and see what we should do. Uh, they do an investigation, and little things can change whether somebody's arrested. And we've, we, look, we've seen cases where you would just be, you would not believe that the person got arrested, but they did. And so we see those situations both ways. So it's, there's a lot of uncertainty in it. Thank you so much, Greg. Remember guys at home, if you'd like more information on Greg McCollum and the Complete Legal Defense Team, be sure to visit their website.